In today's video, I'll be showing you guys the best IDs for you to turn into Catnap from Poppy Playtime 3 right here in Brookhaven. But for us to get our first IDs, we actually need to do some challenges. What will be our first challenge, Catnap? Steal Brookhaven's bank. Dude, that's just easy. We just go inside the bank, grab the green card on the counter, and use it to open the door on the second floor, and here we are. Now we just need to look for the C4. With it in hand, we just place it on the ground and detonate it. Simple and easy. Now I have all the city's cash. Just did what you asked for catnap. Now give me those IDs so I can look more like you. Alright, I'm sending it to your phone. Oh, that was pretty fast. We can start with this one which seems to be the eyes. Just look at that. They're all creepy. There's also this second one which is the whiskers. We're doing pretty good. Now we get the ears. We should take our hair and stuff out of course. Damn, I look really ugly right now. What has this made me? Let's just keep getting those IDs on. Cats need their tail. So that's ours. There's just a few things we still need to put on. We need the shirt he has. And the pants as well. Last off we just paint ourselves purple and done. Ain't this great? Okay. This one didn't look a lot like catnap. This actually doesn't look too good. Is he just trolling us or something? He sent a bunch of bad IDs. You again? What do you want? What I want. I want a better skin. Just look at how you made me look. To acquire the correct skin IDs, you'll need to complete more difficult challenges. Okay. Go on. I want to get those already. Win in the tower of hell that's a lot harder than the bank but i do have a way of getting it first we need to get into a private tower of hell server now that we're here we actually can change the game settings and that means even changing the size of the tower in this case i want the minimum possible which is four you just update it and there we go it's a lot easier to get to the end of this one of course this is kind of cheating but i don't think catnap will notice i just hope these four layers aren't too hard for now we're doing good no troubles until now I should have stayed quiet. All right, now we got it. Just a few more jumps. Nice. We're at the second layer. We need to be careful. We don't want to go back after all that. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. After a lot more time than I'm willing to say playing this Tower of Hell, we're finally almost at the end of it. This green layer is right before the end. So after that, we'll finally get the IDs we deserve. Just need to play this with the utmost care. I don't want to deal with all that again. All right, we just need to jump over here. This thing cannot touch us. That that's game over. Dude, I think we did it. Wait, no. Why? Why did this happen? We were so close to the end. So close. I got back now. We just have a minute to finish this now. The timer even got red. You know how serious that is. Please, don't have trouble on this ladder again. All right, I think we did it. Is it actually true? Guys, I can't believe it. I think it's the actual end. We just touch that and see. Yeah, we finally finished the Tower of Hell. Catnap, please. I've done what you asked. I need those ID stat. You took too long, so there's more challenges you have to do. Dude, are you serious? Steal 10 safes while being a noob in Brookhaven. What do you even mean by that? Good luck. Beyond just doing all that parkour, we still need to steal a bunch of safes? At least it feels a lot easier than doing that game again. First, we need to change our skin. There we go. A lot better. We can start by getting equipped with a C4, binoculars, and a sleeping bag. With that, we have our robbery kit for Brookhaven. We can start by looking for our first victim. Them. This one seems good. To start it off easy, we'll begin by talking. No need to start invading. Hello? Is anyone there? There's a little noob trying to know the neighbors. Seems like the owner's right there. What do you need? I just want a place to live. I don't really have a home for myself. Is that okay? Of course you can. Wait, really? I wasn't expecting all that kindness. She's actually so cool. Make yourself at home. Such a nice lady. Let me go up here. Totally not to steal your safe. We need to be careful in case she... Oh. She's watching TV. This is the best time we have to get her safe. Let's click on the plant and go into there. We just detonate our C4 and that's our first safe of the day. Awesome. We've already started well on this challenge. I'm not even gonna go through the front door. I'll just teleport somewhere else. That girl was too nice to me. I don't want to confront her. Who will be our next victim now? Oh, this beach house seems like a good idea. It's also a pretty easy safe to get. Let me just get into it. Oh, there's already someone in here. Wait, is he trying? to steal the safe like me? I hope not. Don't you even try to do that before me. 
Get away from the bathroom. This is my space. I'll put a bunch of boxes in the way so he can't do that anymore. I'm the one that needs to do those challenges. I won't let him make this harder for me. Just click the mirror and there we go. Just blow this thing up. There we go. We got it. Now we just go out. This is so much easier than I ever thought. So with that, we go from one to two out of ten saves we need to get. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo catch a tiger by the toe. This place is pretty nice. Look at how green it is. Is anyone there? I'm a little kid that wants to be adopted. Well, not really. I'm kind of big for that. Oh, that seems to be the owner. Ugh, so gross. Wait, what are you talking about? You bacons are just so gross. I just need somewhere to be. Please. Go away, you stinky, ugly, gross bacon hair. Dude, that guy is just so unhumble. It's okay. I still got my robbery kit. With it, we can see from afar what's going on inside his house. And with the sleeping bag, we'll be able to get into his house fairly easily. There we go. We're in. Look at him right there. I guess he's eating his lunch or something. We need to be here in some way so that he won't notice us. I think we can jump up here? Yeah, we can. We're already up here. Now we just put a bed right here. Awesome. We're inside the house now. Just need to blow his safe up now. Wait, he's right here. What did I tell you, Bacon? No, he banned us. This gotta be the most unhumble guy we've ever met. Dude, he's so bad that I wasn't even the only one banned. I don't even know what to do at this point. Wait, I know. What if I try to disguise myself? A feminine disguise would work. I'll get something nice. Some new hair would be good. Changing the skin color would be nice too. Awesome. This disguise rocks. Maybe this will help that guy let me into his house again. I'll call his attention. Let's see if that works. Oh, seems like he's interested. Please come in. Wait, this actually worked? I can't believe he actually unbanned me. I won't waste any time then. I'll go straight to that safe. You deserve this dude. All the money you once had is mine now. Let's teleport somewhere else. And there we go. We're done with that guy now. Making our two turns into a 3 out of 10. And after quite a while of robbing saves around town, you can see that we're already with 9 out of 10 stolen saves. There's only one left. The last house we're gonna get is this one, which is actually one of those estates instead of a normal home. We gotta be more careful since it's a mansion. The owner of this place must be a lot more prepared for that kind of thing. Oh, they left the door open. That helps. Where's the safe of this place? I'm trying to remember. Probably inside the main bedroom's closet, right? Oh yeah, I I think we just need to turn this corner into the closet and click this button. Look at that. We found the safe's room. Let's blow this up already. And there we go. We got it. Now just click that button and we're finally done. Whoa. I saw you stealing my safe. You're probably confusing me with someone else. Don't I swear. Liar. I'm gonna fry some bacon with that hair of yours. Oh gosh. Stop, dude. Just leave me alone, please. We gotta make a run for it. I'll get his helicopter. Please let me fly it. I can't even use it. Let's just jump out of here. This girl has a bike. Please just take me with you. Oh, she was carrying a baby. She probably didn't have space. In the end, we got out of that mansion and got all those 10 safes. Catnap! I've finally stolen all those safes you asked me to. Here's all the money I've gathered after that. Good. I almost thought you couldn't do it. Just send it to your phone. Awesome! We finally got it! It actually looks like he sent us the right IDs for us to use this time. Alright, we can start by getting his shirt on. To match that we got the pants. We can't forget his tail, of course. And it's a lot better than the one he got me last time. We'll, of course, get Catnap's head as well. Look at that! The only problem is the bacon hair just sticking out of it. But we can just solve that right quick. A lot better. We can also grab a better model for it, like this blocky one that's perfect in my opinion. So that's the first outfit our guy Catnap could give us. And all the IDs I've just used will be showing up on screen right now. Just pause the video if you need and go use it in Brookhaven if you want. This one's pretty cool to see, but the next one is gonna be a lot scarier than this. To make this scary skin, we'll actually need the purple full body suit from the marketplace. It's only 50 Robux. And to make it look even better, Better. We should get this rake model as well. It's a bit pricier with 175 Robux. If you use it in the game, you're gonna look a little bit like this. Pretty ugly. I know. But if we get the full body suit, it'll look more like this, which is a lot more like catnap. We just need a few more IDs. You won't need to pay for these ones. Then we get his moon necklace. His tail needs to be here as well. There we go.
go. Now we just take all the hair and accessories out and it's done. We've now turned into an even scarier catnap now. This thing is so spooky looking. And don't worry, all these IDs that I haven't paid for will be shown on screen right now. But the model and bodysuit have to be bought, just like I've shown before. If you thought this is our only scary character, you're pretty wrong. For our next skin, we'll need this purple plushy avatar. It's 56 Robux. Then we get the purple Monty furry monster slippers. This baby glowing goober. The bright eyed agent as well. And the chibi body last. Mixing all of them up will give us a body like this. I know I look weird. Just trust the process. If we start getting those other items, we'll look more like this. Actually, our claws did bug quite a bit in there. I'm not even sure why, but it's okay. We just need to get the IDs, like this shark teeth head. Can't forget his moon necklace. And then just get the tail. Let's take my hair and accessories out again, and I think that's it. We've turned into a pretty scary catnap in Brookhaven. The IDs you can use for free will be on screen, but the other stuff we used has to be bought. There's sadly no other way of doing it. But that's gonna have to be it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video and comment down below what other characters you'd like to see me turn into next. Make sure to watch one of the videos on screen right now. You're gonna have so much fun. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more Brookhaven and Roblox. Have a good one!